Let's talk about the roads in India. Filthy, dirty, narrow, jammed and disorganized. Let me show you a few news clippings first. We are used to seeing news stories about bad roads in India, but it seems to be a common complaint all over the world. But why is there such a focus on negatives of India alone? There's actually a psychological reason. A 2023 Forbes article citing research from Cambridge University highlighted that negative posts on social media garner significantly more engagement than positive ones. This creates a cycle where platforms prioritize negative content because it drives clicks and ad revenue. This means that when it comes to things like infrastructure, we often see a disproportionate amount of negativity. India being the most populated country in the world and has open access to the internet unlike China makes it a very attractive target for many online to make a quick buck. Now let's take a quiz. I'll show you a few photos of some roads. Each image will stay on the screen for around 5 to 7 seconds and you need to guess the city or country they are from. Here's the first image. You'll have to keep an open mind for this one. Tough? That's the capital of India, Delhi. It's the redeveloped Moti Bagh Road. Now, the second image. Take a close look. Beautiful place? Let me tell you, several developed countries have sent research teams to this place to study its multi-model economic and environmental planning and design. Difficult guess? That Sabamati riverfront in the city of Ahmedabad in India. Now, this one's a bit of a curveball. Hope you get this one. A true shopper's paradise. No? Can't take a guess? That's Orchard Road in Singapore, a world-famous shopping street. It's often used as a benchmark for urban development. And finally, let's come back to India. This is the Noida Expressway in Uttar Pradesh, India. What's even more surprising is that this photo is from 2013, showcasing years of development. In today's video, we are challenging everything you know about Indian roads. While many either stand on two biased notions of either praising or criticizing them, we are going to dig deeper into some surprising facts that might change your perspective entirely. India has the second largest road network globally, stretching over 6.3 million kilometers. This vast network is crucial for connecting a nation of over a billion people. But there's something unexpected. Contrary to popular belief, some of India's highways actually outperform those in developed nations in terms of technology adoption and innovative materials. The other unknown fact is that the highways in India are divided and managed by the national government or the state government based on where it leads to. If the highway connects cities within a state, it's a state highway and managed and funded by the state. If the highway connects two or more states, then that's a national highway and funded by the national government. Now let's talk about the images you generally see of the roads in India. They are merely city roads managed by local municipals and as far as India goes, similar to developed countries, it too faces corruption. No country is corruption free. Let me know in the comments if your country is corruption free. Let's start with highways. India's national highways have undergone a remarkable transformation. The Golden Quadrilateral, launched in 2001, connected the four major metropolitan cities of Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata. This project alone reduced travel time between these cities by 20%, significantly boosting trade and logistics. But here's what most people don't know. This project also became a testing ground for innovations that other countries are now adopting. The 2017 Bharat Mala Pariyojana, literally translated to the Garland of India project, aims to build over 65,000 kilometers of new highways. The Delhi Mumbai Expressway is implementing AI based traffic management systems that some European nations are now studying for their own implementation. 
This challenges the notion that infrastructure innovation only flows from the developed to the developing nations. Now, let's challenge some common misconceptions about Indian city roads. While critics often compare India's infrastructural development unfavorably with other countries, they miss a crucial point. India is building infrastructure at an unprecedented scale while simultaneously serving a massive, active population. This is like renovating a busy restaurant during peak hours, a challenge that most developed nations never faced as they built the infrastructure when their populations were much smaller. Environmental concerns about road construction? Here's where India is actually leading global innovation. The country has developed a unique method of incorporating not just plastic waste, but also steel, slag and construction debris into road construction. In Bengaluru, roads built with this technology have shown 40% better durability during monsoons and reduced urban heat island effect by 3 degrees Celsius compared to conventional roads. Urban road planning in India is undergoing a revolution that few people know about. Cities like Pune and Ahmedabad are implementing AI-powered traffic management systems that adapt in real time to changing conditions. India in the meanwhile is undertaking massive infrastructural projects while simultaneously lifting millions out of poverty and managing the world's largest democracy. For instance, when the United States built the interstate system in the 1950s, its population was about 160 million. India is building equivalent infrastructure while serving 1.4 billion people. This means Indian engineers and planners are solving challenges that have never been faced before by any country ever at this scale. To ensure transparency and accountability, India has developed one of the most transparent infrastructure monitoring systems globally. Through the Pragati platform, citizens can track real-time progress of road projects, report issues directly to authorities, access construction quality reports, and monitor project expenditure down to the district level. The Pragati platform is so transformational that a premier university like Oxford released a detailed study about it. Looking ahead, India is piloting technologies that could reshape global road infrastructure, like self-healing road materials that repair minor cracks automatically, roads that generate electricity from vehicles' movement, and climate-adaptive surfaces that can change properties based on weather conditions. The story of Indian roads isn't just about infrastructure, it's about innovation under unique circumstances. While some might focus on comparing surface conditions to construction speeds, they might miss the remarkable achievement of building futuristic infrastructure while simultaneously serving and improving the lives of a billion people. It's not just about the roads India is building, it's about how India is building them and the new solutions India is discovering along the way. As we conclude this journey through India's road development story, Remember that progress isn't just about the destination, it's about the path we take to get there. India's approach to infrastructural development is uniquely suited to its challenges and opportunities, creating solutions that the world can learn from. As always, share your thoughts in the comments below.